In this video, we're going to walk you through how to set up and load a Simbri flight plan into Microsoft Flight Simulator in 2023. If you are just starting to learn how to fly airliners or you want to learn the basics when it comes to flight plans, this video is for you. This is a new video series where we provide tips and tricks that will help newcomers and experienced flight simmers alike to enhance their flight sim experience. Let us know in the comments below if you like this video format and subscribe to see more flight sim content. Simbrief is a free website and service that is provided by Navigraph. Essentially, it's a flight plan tool designed to reproduce flights and briefing packages as the real pilots would use in real life for flight simmers. Flight planning can be a very daunting to newcomers of the flight simulation hobby. So today we're just going to run through the basics of creating and loading a flight plan into Microsoft Flight Simulator with Simbrief. And we'll leave all the more complex parts of Simbrief to another video. The first thing you want to do is go and jump over to the Sim Brief website and create your own account. Once you've created the account, you can just move over to the Dispatch tab and then click on Dispatch System. This will bring you to the Dispatch menu and what we're going to do today is we're going to create a new flight. So we click on Create New Flight. This is where we create our flight plan and put in basic information. Now, it might seem a little bit daunting to newcomers because there's a lot of spots where you can put information, but for the purpose of this video, we're going to keep this super basic. Now, the first thing we need to do is move over to the flight information section, which is just up the top. We need to put an airliner name in there. So for the purpose of the video, we're going to put in AFS, which is Oz Flight Simmer airline so to speak the next part is we need to put in our flight number so today's flight we're going to call it one two three four just to keep it really basic now to create every single flight plan we need a departure point which is the airport we're leaving and also an arrival point which is the airport we are arriving to now how airports work they all have their own codes called ICAO codes these are basically nicknames or a short format code to let um, the world of aviation know this is that airport and this is its name. So we're going to start off over at Sydney International Airport, which is in Sydney, Australia. The ICAO code, which you see I've used here before, which is YSSY. And we're going to be flying all the way up to Brisbane International Airport. Um, so we're going to put in the Brisbane code, which is YBBN. As soon as we've done that, Simbrief has already created a flight plan or a suggested route. And as we move down to the bottom here, we can see on the map, it's actually created a flight plan from Sydney International Airport all the way up to Brisbane International Airport. And the route in the routing section is just there. This is the one that's actually given us. If you're not happy with that flight plan, there is um, some suggested ones, which you can actually change the flight plan by clicking on these ones and it will display on the map. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna use the one that it's actually giving us. Now we can scroll up all the way up to the top and we're gonna generate the flight plan. Simbri creates a flight plan by taking in consideration the current weather. You can also change the time. So say if you wanna set up a flight plan now and you wanna change it to fly in maybe six hours time, you can change the departure time. But we're gonna use the current time in this case and it basically grabs the real world weather data and combines that with real world flight plans and that's what it spits out. So we're gonna generate the flight plan by clicking the generate flight plan button up the top. And we're gonna override a previous generated flight plan because I've been messing around with this previously. Now the flight plan has been created, there's a few different sections here. The first section is the summary of the flight plan information. This will give you basic information of the flight that you can grab straight away. Also, there's the route map, which is below, which we saw on the previous page. And then all the way down the bottom, if we were to print out a flight plan, this is what it would look like. This is the official flight plan um, and its summary and all the details. Now, for the purpose of this video, we're not gonna go through any of this, except for what we wanna have a look at is the altitude that we're going to be doing for the flight, which is a minimum of uh, 20,000 feet all the way up to 31,000 feet. We're going to choose at 26,000 feet uh, for the video, but I'll show you where we do that. Now that we're happy with the flight plan, as this is a basic flight plan, we're going to scroll all the way down the bottom and we want to be able to download the flight plan file. In this section here has a bunch of different aircraft where you can download the specific flight plans for each individual aircraft on many different types of simulators. For the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it basic by adding the flight plan into Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So we want to scroll down to where it says Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 and hit the download. This will download into the folder 
that you choose. For us, we're just gonna put it in our download folder. Once we have done that, it is now time to load up Microsoft Flight Simulator. Once you're in the simulator, you wanna go and jump over to the world map. Now, the first thing you wanna do is pick the aircraft that you wanna use for the flight. As I mentioned before, for the purpose of this video, we are using the Just Flight BAE 146-300. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna hit the spacebar button. This will bring options up to where you can do and pick your flight plan from. So we wanna hit a load from this PC. And we put our flight plan in the download section when we download it from Simbrief before, which is YSS to YBBN. So we're gonna pick that one, we're gonna hit open, and it's gonna load the flight plan in. This is the flight plan directly downloaded and now we've imported it into the sim from Simbrief. Now the first thing that you may wanna go and do, as we mentioned before, we checked in Simbrief the altitude or the cruising altitude for today's flight and it said between 20,000 to 31,000 feet. In today's video, we're actually gonna fly at 26,000 feet. The BAE 146-300 doesn't fly as high as some of the other airliners because it's an old one. But basically what we do is we can go over to set the cruise altitude. We're gonna backspace and we're gonna put a six in there and then we're gonna enter and that's actually gonna put that in our flight plan. The next thing you may want to do is sim brief when it comes to the flight plans and when you import them this way, it will automatically put you on the runway. So we may want to choose a parking spot for us to start, especially if you want to fly your planes at cold and dark and do everything that's starting up. Now you could zoom into the airport and you could pick a parking spot by clicking on a blue dot. We don't really want to do this in my opinion because sometimes when you do this, this will actually then change um, the flight plan slightly. It sort of messes things up. So your best bet is to go and actually pick uh, your parking spot by actually using the drop down. So we're going to find a ramp um, 92 somewhere in the, the mix here. I think I did see it before and we're going to use that for our parking spot. There we go, 92. And it's basically going to start us over there and we need to go and taxi on to runway 16 right for the takeoff. Once you've done that, you may want to add additional information such as departures and approaches. Simbrief have just got us going direct to their first nav point, which is Antra. We're going to add a departure onto this one. So you can do that by hitting the departures drop down box, and it's got all the departures outside the airport. Um, there's many different ones that you can choose. For the purpose of this video, we're going to keep it super simple, and we're going to use the, the SY216 right departure, which basically extends our upwind departure before we make a left hand turn on the way to go. So you can change around and you can put all the different departures in and you can do it here. We're gonna move up to uh, Brisbane and we're gonna do the same thing. Now the arrival has been set um, and the star has been placed into here, but we do wanna pick how we wanna approach the runway. Now on today's flight, we're actually gonna be landing on runway 01, right? And we're gonna make this an ILS landing. So we're gonna choose that in the sim by doing ILS 01, right? And entering that in. That's gonna change the flight plan where it will move us over to grab the ILS and when we'll pick up that frequency, the aircraft will automatically fly into runway 01 right. From this point here, we would just click the fly now button and the sim would actually place the Just Flight BAE 146 300 over at um, ramp 92 and we'll be ready to do our cold and dark start. This method of importing a Simbrief flight plans will work with a bunch of aircraft, including all the default aircraft in the flight simulator and some others. When it comes to more complex aircraft, such as the uh, Boeing 737 from PMDG, this has a few extra steps where we would need to import the flight plan into the FMS. If you want to see more videos like that, let us know in the comments below. If we get enough interest, we'll do a part two when it comes to importing basic flight plans for Simbrief. I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button so that way we can let you know when we have some more Flight Sim tips and tricks videos and Flight Sim news content. If you want to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments below of what subjects you would like us to have a look at and we will have some more tips and tricks videos out there for you soon. In the meantime, check out this video here as we walk through how to use custom keys for when it comes to cameras in Microsoft Flight Simulator.
Dante. 